Hi, I'm here in SwiftPaws back office again. Uh, we've just finished creating uh, a couple of new products and we're ready to add them to the keyboard. So I'm just going to walk you through how to do that now. Um, so the Corona Stubby 6 pack and the single are the ones that we've just created. I'm going to close out of the product full edit screen and navigate to the keyboard designer that's located under connect touch settings and keyboards. Click on open keyboard to show a list of all the keyboards you might have set up. You'll probably only have a couple, one or two in here. Um, I have a bunch uh, just for demonstration purpose purposes. So I'm going to find the one I want, which is this top one, and double click on it to open it up. And the first layout that you'll see is the, uh, the, the default layout. Um, we want to navigate to the correct layout. We can do that using the drop down at the top of the screen here. When you click on the drop down, it will list all of the different layouts that are available. Uh, and the one that I want is going to be the bottle shot layout. So you can see that this top layout, this is the, um, the part of the screen which changes when you select a different layout. All of the bottom keys down here are fixed and they will stay the same no matter which layout you're looking at. So I'm on the bottle shop layout now and I want to add my Corona stubby and six pack here. That's not entirely realistic that you would um, add the individual items here but I'm just using this as an example. So there are two different ways that you can do it. Um, the first one is to select a blank button over on the right hand side you can change the link type to product and then the link item you can specify what product you want that button to be so if I click on the little ellipse it gives me an option to search for the product um, I can type in all or just part of the name of the product so I'm typing in C-O-R-O -O, and that displays the two Corona products I'm going to select this top one and that now is assigned to that button. I'm going to do that again using a different method. So I'm going to select a blank key here and over on the left you've got this hidden panel here called quick buttons. If I click on that it'll expand this panel out and it will display um, a, a variety of, of products in here. In fact at the moment it's displaying all of the possible products um, this can be filtered down to just a specific set of products. I'm going to do that now by selecting the category filter and choosing beer import pack which only has two products in it. Um, we have uh, the Corona Stubby six pack here which I want to put down here. We can simply click and drag that product and drop it where we want it to go. So those are the two different um, methods you can use to get a product onto the keyboard. I'm going to save my changes here. And you might also want to change the size and style and text on the buttons. So I'll show you how to do that now. I'll highlight the button that you want to change and over on the right hand panel you have a bunch of different options. You can change the, the back color. So for example you can make that a nice orange color. You can also drag and drop these wherever you want them to be on the keyboard quite easily. I can change the text color as well. I can change the font size. I can also make the button wider if I want to. So I could make it um, a width of 2 and a height of 3. It's a little bit excessive. and I can change the caption as well. Um, this is just the caption that you'll see on the actual keyboard. Um, it doesn't change the description of the product record that we created earlier. So we can change that to be whatever we like. And I can do the same with the six pack, change the back color. the text 
and the button size. And save my changes. There are a few other considerations, especially with different kinds of products that we might add, uh, but I won't get into those just yet. Um, those will be covered in a future video. Um, most importantly, in the, the more settings, um, there are going to be a range of different options or, or different settings you might need to use, um, and post links, which again I'll get into in a, in a later video. Um, we don't need to worry too much about those for this particular type of product. Um, so I'm going to stick with what I've got. Um, you can exit the keyboard uh, or the layout designer. Just make sure you've saved your changes before you try to send the changes down to the terminal. Um, I'm going to exit the layout designer now and send my changes to the terminal. So in connect touch settings and touch post terminals we have a list of all the different terminals that I have set up here. Um, none of these are actually online or active, um, they're just for demonstration. Um, but if you were to send your changes down to these terminals, you could do so just by highlighting one specific terminal and clicking on full update and OK. Or if you want to send changes to all of your terminals, you can select all of them by dragging a box around them or selecting one and using shift and your arrow keys to select multiples. Anyway, that's how we add a product to the keyboard designer and send those changes down to the tools. So that, um, this in, in conjunction with the previous video has covered uh, creating a brand new product from scratch, um, adding it to the keyboard using the keyboard designer and then sending the changes down to the terminals. I hope this has helped and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.